Hello everyone, today I will explain you in detail about the difference between simple interest and the compound interest. I have taken the example of the simple interest. See here, I will tell you that someone, for example, it may be X person, he has deposited 100 rupees in the bank for how much years? 5 years. See, I have written your years and the interest for interest, how much it is at? 10% interest. So, what he have done for the simple interest difference I am telling it about. For 100 rupees principal, he will take get the 10% in interest. That is an for one year, first year he will get, he or she will get 110 rupees. For second year, same 10% interest, he will get 110 rupees. Only 10 rupees extra per year. So total that person will get 550 rupees after 5 years. This is an simple interest but same I will explain you about the compound interest see here same person if he or she have invested 100 rupees in the FD in the bank for how much years 5 years see here for 100 rupees 10% interest rate so how much he or she will get 110 rupees now for second year, for compound interest, these 110 rupees is the principal and will get 10% interest on 110 rupees. So, when you will solve this, uh, 121 rupees that person will get for second year. This is about compound interest I am telling you. Now, 121 is the principal for third year. Interest rate how much? 10% interest rate for 121 rupees 10% interest rate he or she will get 133 rupees now for fourth year these 133 rupees as a principal for interest 10% interest that person will get 146 rupees on the fourth year now 146 rupees that person for fifth year for 10 percent rate interest rate he will get 160 rupees for five years so total when the person invested in the compound interest or the fd he will get total 670 rupees understand how much 670 rupees see there is total diff how much difference for simple interest that person will get 550 rupees for 100 as a principal and same by compound interest same principal 100 rupees he will get 670 rupees this is the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest understand thank you